All right, so Fassel wants me to talk about my roommate situation and where I live at and why it's fucking terrible. So, like, where I live at, like, I have four roommates, and they're all younger than me. And when I had this job, it was very hard for me to sleep because they would fucking party during the week, like, all night long. Fucking being loud, fucking drinking, fucking doing all kinds of stupid shit, right? And there was times where I will be sleeping and one of their people would fucking try to barge into my door and I fucking lock it because I don't want them coming in, you know? And then the whole place is dirty. Like, my fucking kitchen... My fucking kitchen is a disaster. It's it's filled with fucking, like, dirt. It's filled with fucking fruit flies. It's filled with fucking, like, like sticky shit on the floor from them spilling beer and drinks and all that crap. They don't even clean their st the stove top when they cook their food. You know what I mean? And then I have another problem with my one roommate where he fucking eats my food. He ate my chicken the first time. I called him out on it the first time too. And he fucking tried to lie to me about it. Saying, oh, um, you, I, I don't know if I ate that. I don't think I did this. I don't think I ate your fucking chicken. And then I called him in the lie, you know, and he fucking admitted it. You know, I thought it was okay at first, you know. Because it's just his first time he did that, right? And then fucking, he did it a second time because he was drunk. And I had to fucking, I, that was when I had to go to work. And fucking, he had the drunk munchies and ate three of my chicken breasts. And I fucking woke up in the morning, I noticed it. And I saw it in the fridge, I got fucking pissed. So I had to fucking call him out on, on it on a text message. I was like... If you fucking do this again, we're gonna have a fucking problem. And he didn't answer me after that, because I know he's scared, you know what I mean? And then he saw me outside when I came home from work, when I parked, and he shook my hand. He's like, I'm so sorry, I was drunk, I did this, I did that. I told him, we're gonna have a problem if this keeps happening. And I told him, man, I bought a fridge, so you don't fucking eat my food. You know, I had to fucking buy a fridge, just because of those fucking assholes. You know, I'm pretty sure they might have ate my other foods too, cause I, I thought I had tuna cans and they fucking ate that too. You know what I mean? So it's fucking terrible. You know, and uh, it just sucks cause they're loud. They're always partying. I can't really do anything about it. That's what's causing my depressive episodes too, like that shit. I'm not able to fucking keep a job because of that. Yeah, I guess that's an excuse. I shouldn't make excuses about it. I should be fucking just going to work. But it's fucking very hard when you fucking can't sleep and you fucking feel so depressed. You know what I mean? Um. Yeah, and then my one roommate, I, I'm trying to be nice to him. Like, like he could. I told him how to drive, and he was doing good, right? And then. Kinda got lucky. He fucking passed a couple stop signs. Even though there was a cop there. And the cop didn't do shit. So. When I was chilling. I was chilling in my room. I think I was doing a YouTube live. And he texts me saying. Can I drive your car? I was like fuck no dude. You can't do that. I mean I didn't say fuck no. But I just said you can't. You don't have your fucking license. So it was just annoying. Dealing with people that fucking ask me dumb questions. You know, you don't even have a license. You know what I mean? It's just annoying. And then another thing, too, is with my one roommate. Oh, I'll repay you with, I'll cook you some food and shit. That ain't gonna repay me. You know, just stop fucking doing it. Stop doing that shit. Even though he bought me three chicken breasts. You know what I mean? I just don't like that. I don't like when people take my shit. You know, and the place is just dirty, it's fucking disgusting, 
you know, I'm living in a frat house, I'm living in a fraternity, and they're partying constantly, they're drinking, they're doing all kinds of shit, you know, and it's just, it sucks because you want to have peace, but you can't, you know, it's, I, yeah, people would say, oh, you should have picked a better place, what the fuck you doing, right, I didn't have enough money, I, I almost, like, didn't have enough money for a better place. I had no choice to live there because I, I had a time limit to live with my dad's girlfriend. So it fucking sucks I had to live there. But hopefully things get better. Hopefully things get better at the place I'm living at, even though it's fucking very hard to live in. So I'll catch you guys with another one.